The Great Falls Metropolitan Planning Organization and the Montana Department of Transportation have released a long-range transportation plan for public review. But what is a long-range transportation plan? Well, every five years we update our long-range transportation plan. And the plan is just a projection of the future of what our needs are going to be and how we're going to um, fund and implement those needs. The process is data-driven as current conditions are looked at and future expectations are forecasted. We try to project future traffic based upon where growth is going to happen. And that future traffic will tell us where our problems are going to be. Now a draft of the plan has been published and the city is looking for public feedback on the plan. We want to know what people think about that draft. If there's anything that is glaring, um, if we're going in the wrong direction, we'd love to know what people think about that plan. Over 75 improvement projects have been identified. 21 of them are already expected to be completed in the next few years, and the other 55 are proposed. There are also over 150 recommendations for non-motorized networks, such as bike lanes and sidewalks. It is a hefty document, and you'll need to wade through it to figure out what's going on and what our plans for the future are. There is one of the appendices that is recommendations, so if you want to get a handle on what's being proposed, you might start with that appendix. Public input is important in making sure the plan is working along with its citizens' needs, and they need to hear your feedback before September 23rd. After that, we'll close the public comment period, and then we'll take it through, boy, we're taking it to the city and county planning board, city and county commissions, and then some local transportation bodies for approval. So while well, you still can, head to the website, review the comments, and add some of your own to make sure that the city of Great Falls is doing what it can for you. In Great Falls, I'm Tommy Lynch, MTN News.